Okay, so um, what's the uh, Super Jewel like to ride in the rain? Well, the screen offers reasonable protection. Um, as I said, uh, if you space the screen up a bit, get some spaces and have it more level, you'd be a bit more protection. And also with the uh, with the um, the wind deflector as well. Um, yeah, you can see it's the rain's got pretty bad now. I was going to go to another place, but I'm going to give that a miss. Um, this is where ABS is fantastic. Okay, when you know, like I'm not a fan of ABS, but in this sort of weather, if you've got to plant your brakes on pretty hard for some reason, or even lightly, you're not going to get that slip. This is this is probably for a smaller off adventure bike. Uh, definitely a big adventure bike you need them, but for a smaller off uh, adventure bike, this is probably the only time I think ABS is a good thing on wet asphalt roads because they can get pretty slippery and um, you know you, the last thing you want to be doing is locking up your brakes and losing your front end or having a high sider with the rear or whatever the case may be I mean I know most of us that are experienced are pretty good at our brake control but it only takes that little time where you can you know just apply it a little bit too much in the wet and uh, somebody brakes in front of you too hard yes yeah, so I don't keep your distance and all that sort of good thing as well, which I totally agree, and uh, I'm actually a qualified motorcycle instructor, so even though I don't uh, instruct anymore, um, you know, uh, I used to teach people how to ride, and um, yeah, so obviously leave that distance, more of a safety distance when you, uh, when it is wet, obviously right to the conditions, all that sort of good stuff. But I rate ABS in wet roads, and actually, on wet roads, traction control is pretty good too. So, not that this has traction control, but, uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> it's, oh shit, that was a big pothole. Um, that's where good suspension comes in. On a road bike, <laughs> that might have thrown me off. Ah, uh, wow, it is wet. Funny is, when I get to uh, Mariba up the road, none of this mightn't even be there because um, it's a bit different up there far, as far as uh, conditions go. Uh, always gets a bit rainy up this way. I know the, the sun's trying to poke its head out. But yeah guys, um, so I've had a, a mixed condition of days today with riding. I uh, went up a range, had to sit there with the engine running for a while because of a, uh, a car accident. Came back down that hill, had a pretty good, good free run going back down. Went through traffic. Uh, bike performs well through traffic. Uh, went up on uh, freeway roads, sing along at 100, 110, no problems at all. Uh, then what? Then we went up a mountain range quite nice, enjoyable riding up there, up into the Atherton Tablelands. Okay, then we got onto some dirt around here, Tinaroo Dirt, uh, Tinaroo Road. Uh, just normal, you know, good dirt roads you could take even a car on, but, uh, and then I found another little track to ride on, which was quite good, to get there. And now rain, so, not too many conditions I haven't taken the Super Jewel X through today, guys, and girls. So uh, I hope you really enjoyed this review today and I mean I know it's not a, I'm no professional at filming and this footage won't be the best and all that sort of good stuff but it uh, gives you an idea of um, just what the bike's capable of and speaking personally from an owner that owns a Super Jewel T with 1821 wheels, a 17 model that's ridden these X, X's, the 18 models uh, reasonably well. I helped with the um, test ride day about 12 months ago on these. Um, what else? I've ridden the RS650 now when I was up here a couple of days ago. I've ridden the 500, the 300 and uh, SWM. They're just a great bike. They really, really are a great bike. And I rate them. I really rate these motorcycles. So, 
till my next review on whatever. Take it easy, guys.